Hi, honey bunny. I love you, sweetheart. Hi, Chris. Welcome to the show. Welcome, everybody, to the phone show. Ah, uh, simulcast on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's like I have double vision. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic, Jay. It's getting cold outside and windy right now. I think we got a storm blowing in. Hi, sweetheart. I love you. Ah, TikTok's uh, giving me some advice. More likes can draw in more people. Well, thank you all for putting up the likes you guys do. You do a very, very good job of it. Oh, and cheers. I am the old Pepsi generation. I want to start a new one. That's a lot of rain, Jay. Um, slacks? Yeah. I, uh, I started in 2010. Howdy, Coach. Welcome back. Nice to see you. 2010, I built this one. Now, it did not look like this uh, back then. And the reason being is that uh, some people were playing a Star Wars game, and uh, they had a piece of paper about that big, and that was their Millennium Falcon. Well, I didn't think that was a very good Falcon. So I went up to my, uh, uh, to my room and my cell, and I uh, had a mac and cheese box. And I made this Falcon from a mac and cheese box. Elmer's glue, PVA if you're in Europe. And uh, some acrylic paint, white. <laughs> and so anyway, 2010, I made this. They're very durable. I've been dropping him since 2010. Still landing on his feet. But then again, so do these. Oh yeah. This is the Tantive, also made out of paper. Please, if you take this hobby up, make micro machines first. No, no slacks. I never was a teacher. I just happened to know what I didn't and did like in school. And, uh, you know, there were some teachers that uh, enjoyed themselves and had a good time. Well, I have a hobby that I enjoy and I can have a good time with it. You can play with all your toys that you make. I use uh, acrylic paint, Jay. Yeah, Ford. It's made out of recycled paper out of my kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I'm making an A10. Uh, this is the next micro machine I'm working on. And then I'm also working on this one. A uh, larger scale with a working burp gun and uh, turbines for it. Oh, yeah. And the turbines uh, turn also. Oh, I'm, uh, slacks? I, I've done a lot. <laughs> I had no single profession. I would do a job until I got really good at it. And then it made me bored and I'd go do another job. So I, I've, I've done a lot. But I've been around uh, motorcycles and snowmobiles and hot rod cars and trucks and aircraft and... Uh, and uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's tough stuff. It's made out of paper. You can look at this. That QR code is from a box of crackers. But anyway, yeah, I've just been uh, around production type industry all my life. Fabrications and, and stuff. And so when I started doing this hobby, this was easy to make. It was all solid pieces, round ones, smaller ones, then bigger ones, and smaller ones and bigger ones. And then you squeeze them together and glue them. And you get a falcon. But 
that didn't go uh, far enough. So I started doing this stuff here. And like this one. Okay, this one's hollow. This one is not. It's one of those kind of things that I just learned how to build stuff at an early age. And I continued. And now I'm making my own models out of paper. Recycled. Cheap hobby. Well, recommend to start. I would say you need a steel rule. I use this ruler more than anything. These are a machinist steel rule. Very important, this. Five, 0.5 or 0.5 or whatever lead pencil. They sell them at Wally World. You can get three for 75 cents or a dollar or something cheap. You might want a larger ruler as well. I got this at Wally World, I think, for 75 cents like 10 years ago. <laughs> no, two, two years ago. I'm kidding. Scissors. I use carbo-titanium non -stick. Very important, these scissors. And that's, that's what you really need. Uh, probably tweezers because you have them at home. You know, I have a dental tool. Didn't know I needed dental tools until somebody gave me one. And I tell you what, they work really good. Hi, Bruce. I'm doing very good, Bruce. How are you today? And so anyway, those are the basic tools. And you need some Elmer's glue or PVA if you're in Europe. And uh, I paint with acrylic paints. These, This was a little bit thick today, so I added water to it and shook it up. It's now back to uh, flowing smoothly. But yeah, that will um, that'll get you started. And you need some... You need some paper. Okay. You should have a bunch of it in your kitchen. Cracker boxes work. Mac and cheese boxes work. Cereal boxes work. So do uh, Pepsi boxes or Coke or anything like that. Oh, thank you, Han Hamdan. Thank you for the heart. Yeah. Well, yeah, it, and it depends. Sometimes uh, sometimes the cracker boxes, see the cracker boxes are a little bit uh, different paper, the cardstock. And they're a little bit more malleable than the soda box is. Toothless. <laughs> Howdy, Toothless. Welcome, my friend. How you doing? Well, right now, I'm making the A-10 Warthog. A large one and five small ones. Hi, William. Nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. And what I'm up to? I'm about six foot one. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a, yeah, that's a dumb joke. Blah. Oh, that's fantastic, Toothless. Glad to hear it. Thank you, Dan. Dan Neal. Ham Dan Neal. Well, Neal, thank you very much. It's a cool hobby. And since I made the hobby, <laughs> of course I would think it's cool. But it's economical. And it's it's not, you're not going to master this for a long time. It, you have to learn how to build all this stuff. And you start with the micro machines and you graduate up as you get better at it. Uh, that's good, Bruce. <laughs> and yeah, I, I got it. You didn't have to uh, correct spell check. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. That's cool. Welcome back, David. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Meow. Jets. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, what I'm doing right now is with these is I painted them and the paint filled in all the low spots. And so now what I'm doing is I'm sanding it down and I'm gonna have to paint it again. I think I'm to the section where I can actually almost start to paint it a second time. And because what this does is this, uh, you, the high spots are white. 
the low spots are blue. And so by uh, this is the color I want on the plane. And so I want to fill in some of these little holes so that it looks better when you're just looking at it. A little bit, Isaac, yes. A little bit on stuff like this, yes. On stuff like this, it's more like framing the house. You have to get your studs in, and then you have to uh, nail your uh, interior walls and out exterior uh, surfaces, I should say, onto your studs. Same thing with building these. Um, Devin, this is going to be an A-10, uh, military uh, fighter aircraft. An A-10 Warthog. That's what this is going to be, and it's going to look like this, except it's bigger. Thank you, Isaac, very much. I use uh, I use acrylic paints, Tim. Just economical, dollar a bottle acrylic paint because it lasts long. It's easy to paint with. You can get huge number of colors. And uh, if it gets a little bit thick, you just add some water to it, and it comes right back to life. And I have a lot of acrylic paints over the since 2010 that I've been getting. Thank you for sharing the videos with, and thank you for sharing me with others, you guys. But I especially like the likes that you do. You had 2,400, right? Or, yeah, 2,400, 2,400. Yeah. Sometimes my numbers get crossed. <laughs> thank you, user, very much. And in case you want to ship this, you know, like Nayla and Rick, they have, uh, they're on here on TikTok, and they, um, they have a rail yard. You know, one of them really cool uh, model railroads. And the cool thing is I can pull the wings off of this like so. And uh, they could put this on one of their rail cars and ship it wherever. <laughs> so that's an interesting way to do stuff too. Oh, that's excellent. And that someone took half your liver? Well, tell the little gremlins to give it back, liver. Yeah, it, it acrylic paint works on plastic very well. Works on paper, too. Hi, Elaine. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. I started uh, teaching myself how to do this in 2010. And since then, I've made a, a plethora of uh, items out of recycled paper. And so, from 2010 to the day, um, I've been building straight away for that many years. And copy? Ho, ho, ho? <laughs> no. Nope. If you want Santa, you have to go to Hipster St. Nick. I'm a garden gnome. Don't know anything about it. I'm sorry, Copy, uh, but I know Santa. And he's a friend of mine. You can go Hipster St. Nick. Check it out. He's right here on TikTok. Thank you, user, very much. Oh, the other plane I got behind me? Oh, yeah. This is, uh, this is the only other plane I have. This is the SR-71 Blackbird from the X-Men. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Copy. Go to Hipster St. Nick on TikTok. Just, just log out here and go to uh, Hipster St. Nick on TikTok. You're going to like him. He, he, I like him. <laughs> no, um, ham dam, uh, you can't. All right. I worked with Ravel models and stuff for a while with another business that I was working on many, many years ago, back in the early 90s. And um, you have to have uh, promotional people that work promotions uh, to be able to even get Ravel to make a model for you. 
And so, because <laughs> I was trying to get a model built. And basically what the model man told me was, even if I had the $75,000 to make the prototype, uh, they wouldn't do it because I wasn't in the promotions department. And the promotions department or what do that stuff. And so then, well, no, Santa's a jolly um, fat dude with a, a funny looking hat and a sleigh and a red suit. I don't look like Santa whatsoever. Ah, Norway, Santa Claus. Nice to see you. Uh, copies in here looking for a Santa. Uh, it's it's uh, gray. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rob. I'm doing very good. I hope you are also. In the background, what? Those, those are ribbons. There's no planes back there. There's some spaceships back there. Oh, I like both, Ryan. I prefer Chinese food over Mexican, though. Nice softball. Welcome. My honey bunny's from Canada. <laughs> FJB and his administration. Welcome, administration. Nice to see you guys. Um, really? Seriously? That's ho, ho, ho. No. Go to Hipster St. Nick. Come on. Santa's over on a different channel. A TikTok, but a different channel. <laughs> yes, Bruce. I'm a garden gnome. Hey. Here it is. Hello, Bruce. How are you? <laughs> this is Bruce. Been Bruce since way before Bruce showed up on the show. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Pepsi right here, too. Reason being, I'm the old Pepsi generation. <laughs> I want to start a new one. Hi, Santa. Howdy, rat. Yes, I made this plane, rat. Absolutely. Well, uh, Thomas, I get a picture, uh, like of the A10, and then um, I blow it up on my comp on my laptop to the size I want to make it, and then I I just take some measurements, height, length, then I find another one and I measure the width, etc. It's it's not a real hard once you practice it. Nope, Santa gives you toys. I do not give you toys. Garden gnomes teach you how to make you toys. It's that simple. I'll teach you how to make your own toys. Then you'll never be out of toys because you can make them yourself. That's the cool thing about this. Once you learn how to do it, it's like giving a man a fish. He has a fish for a day. Teach him how to fish. He's got fish for life. Uh-oh. This happened when it flew over earlier. The wing broke. Okay? The wing broke. This is the cool part about this. It's made out of paper. It's easy to fix. And that's the same way if you have a toy that you make out of paper. Uh, from my YouTube page, The Paper Engineer. You can... Uh, You can make your own stuff. In case you break it, it's just like this. You just put it back together, put the glue back in it, set it back down. See, now I'm careful. I use use this dental tool uh, to make the glue go where it's supposed to go. And I try. I paint two. I paint both pieces with it: the uh, upper part of the wing and uh, the fuselage. And then we just take the excess glue off, just like that. And I have repaired 
DSR-71 Blackbird. I think it's just the lighting. I'm absolutely fine. Yeah, I get it. I think it's the lighting. Thank you, Trevor. <laughs> well, thank you, Thomas. Awesome. <laughs> thank you, Tristan. Um, well, it's because, because you build layers of paper. Now, this, wait, wait a second. Let me put this, A. Okay, put that away. All right. Here's the, 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 I've got this ribbing in here. All right. It's like the, it's like the foundation. This is the foundation of the house. These are the, uh, the, um, uh, studs that go up inside the house. Well, this is the skin. This skin piece, I glue that to every one of those. All right, and then when I go ahead and put the armor on top of that, because I'm using two layers of cardstock, it becomes very strong, like plywood. And so, SR-72, well, almost, SR-71. <laughs> How do I make the flanges and tapers? Well, once you start with something, once you get its its outlying design to where you want it, then you just take the scissors and you, you make your own little measurements and you cut and fit. And if the piece you first, your template, you make your template. Once you make your template, if the template doesn't fit right, you trim it down and, and you get it to fit right. And once you get your templates done, then you make a whole bunch of them and you just start building it. It's like putting a matchstick bridge together. You got to start the foundation and work your way up. F-22? Yeah, F-22 is a cool plane. Uh, I don't have time to make one. This one is a Warthog A-10. <laughs> yep, A-10 go burp. <laughs> This is it. This is a burp gun up front. And it spins. Okay. I can hold this and turn the plane on it. Whoa, if I can stand it up, but it won't. <laughs> anyway, that's how strong this burp gun is. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, absolutely. This is the jet from the X-Men. I got it out of a Marvel book. You bet, FJB. Yeah, the Tank Buster. And the new one, I guess, is called uh, A-10C Thunderbolt. Um, that's what I'm hearing. So, yep, got to get the turbines ready. I do like Iron Man. <laughs> the song and the dude in the armor. Yes, absolutely did. Same with this here. All the techniques are the same. Once you start learning how to build with this stuff and you get the superstructures down, then you can just make whatever you want. It all depends on how much time you want to spend making it. Well, they're not, they're, they're, but they are making a new model. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Bear. <laughs> Thank you, T. Yeah, it is. In the, uh, I made this in 2015 in the Gray Bar Motel. And uh, everything on it 
actually functions. Um, the ankles, they're, they're very tough to maneuver. But these things turn just like that. They move back and forth like this. And the knee and the shoulder joint all work. Well, the thing is, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it moves. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> and so even even this this moves. And the funny thing about that is I have this little lever over here. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. I don't know. But when you move the lever back and forth, the chin guns work. <laughs> Thank you, Bear. Wonderful news. And cheers, everyone. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. All from pictures. Because the thing is, once you get your dimensions of what you want to do from your picture, no matter where it is, whether it's a piece of paper, comic book, or uh, uh, your computer screen, or your phone. Once you get your dimension, say you're, you're doing it on a phone, you only got a four inch dimension. Well, you take your four inch dimensions and then you just double them and you got an eight inch one. That's, just, that's how simple it is. Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I got the chin guns. <laughs> and yeah, uh, your son would love it. I hope you can come into the show with him. Thank you, Daniel. And and that and that's you know, that's like this Zeku Gundam. All right. Hi, Susan. Oh, I don't know, Freddie. Um, uh, from when to when? Uh, I would sell them, but they're too expensive. And so, and so far, no one has had the money to buy one. And, uh, but this one is my favorite. Everything on this moves. Uh, the feet, the legs, the missiles don't, the missiles don't move, but it's got missiles on the knees. It's got missiles on the sh sides of the legs. The missiles on the legs are bigger, uh, hit a lot harder. It has its own ax. This ax comes off. These spikes are good for fighting. It has roller blades, so it's fast. And uh, this gun is my own design. It's also <laughs> rare. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this is my favorite piece. I would like to enter it in the Gundam competition this year if uh, America ever gets allowed to enter. Thank you, Apocrypha, very much. Jordan, thank you. Hi, Shark. <laughs> thank you, Shark. Um, this one's been driving me nuts. I've been working on it since 6622. No, I have no Warhammer yet. Uh, but I am going to make uh, one, a tank or a helicopter or something. Michael, welcome. <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, one, Freddy. <laughs> I know, Bear. <laughs> Salute. Thank you, DJ. Nosferatu Zod? <laughs> oh, that's a heck of a name. Thank you very much, Zod. That's very kind of you. Howdy, Tim. <laughs> uh, General Kenobi's not here. <laughs> but <laughs> this guy says, Kenobi, I'm going to get your lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, not with any legs on you, ain't. <laughs> Only one, Apocrypha. I have the Enterprise. The original. And uh, 
and don't take it wrong or anything like that. I love Star Trek. I do. I grew up with Star Trek from 67 on. And uh, I know a lot about them. Well, Tim, my favorite Star Wars movies is Rogue One. And I watched the first episode in 77 nine times before it got to the drive-ins. I love that. But you can't replace it. And so anyway, and always, when you make your toys, your stands have to come off. You can't play with them if the stand is on it. But yeah, very cool. Um, no, there's nothing about it. It Oh, thank you, Jordan, for the roses. It's all up here, all right? The thing is, if you let your brun... Uh, Brun. Yeah, my buns are not running. They're standing here. If you let your brain run away with the way you think, and it's very hard to have discipline up here. I mean, it's it's everything is taught discipline everywhere, but they don't teach discipline here anymore. All I do is if it gets too hard or it, it starts to bug me, then I put it down and I start something else. Because now... The Grievous has been bugging me. All right? Very hard build. Very, very hard build. So it's bugging me. So I put it down for a while. And I'm working on something cool like the A-10. All right? And now the thing is, see, I'm making five micro machines and I'm making one large one. If I get tired of working on this, then I start working on the micro machines. It changes your brain, uh, the way it's thinking about what you're doing. Ah. <laughs> and thank you, Jordan, for the roses. <coughs> I'm sorry, girl. I didn't mean to be screaming. It's one of those kind of things that uh, I, I, my ears aren't as good as they used to be. And so I tend to talk too loud sometimes. Hey, I hope you forgive me. <clears throat> and cheers, everyone. Old Pepsi generation. Y'all are the new one. It is. Thank you very much. And you're right, DJ. It's getting there. Well, thank you, girl. I'm glad you can. Welcome to my phone show. Thank you for hosting me. Thank you, Apocrypha. And thank you, Thomas, very much. I learned a lot from uh, the folks that I've met all around the world. It's one of them things that's just, huh. Thank you. Yes, it is, girl. And that's the autistic girl. This is the Enterprise, the original star, uh, Captain Kirk, Spock, Bones, McCoy, <laughs> which is Bones, and uh, Scotty. Their engineer. Oh, of course, there was Sulu and Chekhov as well. And Ohura. But yes, this is, this is the original Enterprise. Thank you, Nix. Oh, that's cool, girl. Thank you. That's nice. Uh, yes, yes, Lim, uh, Limbo. As you can see here, you can actually read the cracker box on the wing. It's even got the barcode on it <laughs> from when I bought it. Oh, Met TV. Yeah, Met V. Me TV. Uh, it took me a while to get that right. <laughs> no, I don't, CRC. I, I do not have the Intrepid or the Voyager or the Borg or anybody else. I just ran out of time <laughs> when I was working here and uh, doing this. And so, 
Yeah, I want I want to do the Voyager really bad. I liked Voyager. That was my favorite Star Trek series. Next Generation was good, but I tell you what, Voyager was awesome. <laughs> well, Limbo, here's here's my turbines for the A10. Made out of paper. Recycle paper out of my kitchen. This is the turbines. And they spin. Uh, thank you very much. Um, this one's not bad either. And it, it actually, yeah. Hi, Dallas. How are you doing? Uh, the legs work too. and that's. But I got him on this uh, maintenance stand. No, um, oh, you've got the 50th anniversary? Oh, wow, that's cool. And is, your name is Miriam? Nice to meet you, Miriam. <laughs> oh, thank you. And so, um, th this is what I teach people how to do. You can go to my YouTube page. Uh, the paper engineer. Learn how to make your own toys. And you'll never be out of toys. You you see something cool on TV or a movie that you really like. They don't make a model of it or nothing. You can. Because I teach you how to build whatever you want. And my YouTube channel is The Paper Engineer. Uh, just a second. Uh, just a second, girl. Okay, girl asked a question about uh, this right here. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know, Daniel. Who knows about me? Honestly, I don't. That's cool, Miriam. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm simulcast on YouTube right now. I'm live. I'm live on YouTube. There's nobody over there right now. But yeah, I'm doing that. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Apocrypha, I do have Battlestar Galactica. Matter of fact, hold on just a second. Oh, thank you very much, Jordan. <laughs> thank you. Hold on a second. Uh, he asked a question, Apocrypha did, about Battlestar Galactica. And I really, I really, really, really uh, want to make the Galactica itself. But uh, it's just like everything else. I haven't got the time. And so, anyway. Ta-da! Yeah, I watched Gilligan's Island. I saw everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, Donald, I don't have time. I need you to, to do this, Donald. I need you to go to YouTube, the paper engineer, learn how to do this. And you need to make Punisher's uh, motorcycle. I don't have time to do it. I want to. I want to make everything. But it's a timing thing. Frank, nice to see you. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, I got 20 minutes of the show left. And so, yeah, I can answer a few questions. And remember, make your stands to come off so that you can play with your toys. And you have to do that from the very beginning. All right? Yes, Apocrypha. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, all made out of recycled paper. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. On that's cool, girl. Nice. Well, that's true. That's true, Frank. <laughs> but the thing is, look at me. I still play. Because what the heck good is growing up if you can't have fun when you're a grown up? Yeah, I happen to have fun as a grown up. <laughs> nice, Apocrypha. Well, uh, I'm a garden gnome, but uh, see, I don't, I don't give you toys. That's the cool thing about this. I teach you how to make you toys. I'm retired, Donald. This is, I'm trying to make a business right here out of building toys out of recycled paper. Well, and <laughs> I wish I was apocrypha, but yes, I have a lot of kids here on TikTok all over the world. Hi, Ace. Nice to see you. Next Dagwood build, I hope, will be Wednesday. I've made uh, over 100. Montkowski? Yeah, I've made over 100. I've got like 60 micro machines and at least 25 or 30 uh, full-size ones. Thank you, Donald, very much. Thank you, Del Boy. Very much. Thank you. Very, very much. So here's what we got. Making toys out of recycled paper. Because you can make anything you want. You just have to work at it. Hi, Kevin. Thank you very much for the pizza. Uh, pizzas. And if anybody gets... Uh, 200 uh, roses or the equivalent to 200 coins, basically, it'll put you in the drawing for one of these tri-sabers. They'll be signed, dated, and numbered. Oh, yeah, and, and I got I got three tantives. <laughs> or the blockade runner. Uh, where's my... Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, I have... Uh, I had micro machines in the Grey Bar Motel that I made um, uh, to play the RPG Star Wars game. And so, um, I have a little toy box here with a little Star Destroyer. Hey, Kevin. And uh, over here are the micro, micro machines. Very small. Um, these three are the smallest One, uh, Luke's, oh, geez, but they're pretty tough. Luke's a sand speeder. And uh, the uh, Jedi A-Wings. Very, very cute. I had to build this uh, A-Wing using tweezers. Uh, hold it and then glue stuff on with tweezers. Uh, very tough to make these little bitty ones. And then, of course, there's this Tantive. Okay. Now, this Tantive was made this small because in the game, <laughs> I trapped him in his Star Destroyer. I caught him with a tractor beam. Thank you, Doughboy. And so, and uh, the, uh, I guess the, uh, Pierre Resistance well, would be uh, this tentative here. And so, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's showing all day. Uh -huh. Okay, dokie. We have, uh, we have this tentative right here. And uh, the guns work. 
that the communications array also works. And of course, <laughs> what good would it be if you couldn't play with it? And here's the thing. Okay, this stuff is strong. You build a superstructure and you sheet it and you then you rib it in. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 27, salute 27. Welcome to my phone show. <laughs> Thank you, Apocrypha. I even have uh, the missing uh, escape pods that the droids got our way in. Uh, how does this go? I think this goes this way. Yeah, it goes this way. Yeah. There we go. Uh, there. And so, that is quite the menagerie of ships that I have. Thank you, 27. the only thing with dragging a bunch of stuff out then you got to put it all away and that's okay and i think i'm gonna start calling you agent 27 thank you new mexico absolutely <laughs> and yes apocrypha i am and i i didn't get to make any babylon 5 ships yet either and so it's like, oh gosh, it keeps unconnecting. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, Sabo. I have, uh, I definitely, I have a, um, yeah, I do. Uh, let me get it for you. I'll show it to you. Uh, the Death Star is, uh, I had to learn how to make TIE Fighter cockpits. And so... I uh, I made a Death Star. Thank you for... Who is that? That was gaming? What? Yeah, gaming. Thank you, gaming, for the roses. Okay. All right. Now, now learn how to make Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. I had... The cockpit is round. And paper... The thing with paper is... It won't, it doesn't, it doesn't compound bend. It'll bend that way really good. But then when you do this, it, it wrinkles and, and, and wraps up and it's just terrible. Okay, so I had to figure out how to make a ball out of paper. <laughs> well, thank you, Sabo. <laughs> I appreciate that, yeah. Victory, welcome to the show. And so anyway... I learned how to make it. It's got 16 pieces of six inch round cuts in here and down here. And it has like, I don't know how many hundreds of cross ribbing and then eighth inch strips of paper, white and brown and white and brown and white and brown. Because then when you start sanding it, thank you, Erica. When you start sanding it, the high spots will be white because that's the first color I put down. Then brown was last. I did four layers. Then I started sanding this off. And sanding it off until I found weak spots and hard spots. And then I did it again. Four more layers. Till I learned how to make a ball. I did it with this one. Over and over. And I did it over and over and over. It took a long time to do this and a lot of cuts of paper. Thank you, uh, Erica, for becoming a member of the team. Yep, tiny strips of paper. Glued them on different directions and kept doing it until I covered up the superstructure. And then I took the next color, which was brown, and I did brown. And then I did white, and then I did brown. And when it dried the next day, I started sanding it all down. And then I did that again. I did it three times to get this, this round. And that equals about 3,000 cuts of paper. Uh, and with the little... 
two inch scissor blades that we had in the gray bar, eh, <laughs> it took a lot of cuts. Tens of thousands of nip, 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 nip with the scissors. Um, that is Voc Voctore. Go to YouTube, the paper engineer. Start watching the videos. I got training videos on there. I got all kinds of videos that show how to do everything. And you start small. Make micro machines. And once you get good at the micro machines, or once your son gets good at the micro machines, then you can step up the bigger ones. Because once you can make like this, it's two inches. Once you get good at making this two inch one, then you just make it four inches big. And you use these principles that I teach how to build a chassis and a superstructure. Hi Cole, Grievous, I'm not doing anything on Grievous. Grievous is just hanging out, being half a droid human mix. <laughs> and so anyway, I'll get to him later. He's just, right now, he's bugging me. That's why I'm just, yeah. So, thank you Cole for the fire. Thank you, Larry, very much. So, YouTube, the paper engineer. I've got videos over there that could help do everything, but make the micro machines. A mistake on a micro machine, it's easy to fix. And it's supposed to be make a mistake on a micro machine, it's a micro mistake, it's easy to fix. Blah, couldn't get it out right. I'm having a heck of a time. It, YouTube keeps wanting to kick itself off. I hope everybody's okay over there. <laughs> Thank you, Voctori. I will be live uh, Monday through Friday. 12 noon Pacific Standard Time is my first show. I come on again at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for my second show, which actually is... Just about one hour before now is when my show starts. If you come to the show, I will do everything I can to help your son learn how to do this. Oh my God, how you doing? <laughs> eh, out of paper. Recycled paper from my kitchen. And it's, it's a cheap hobby, you guys. All right. Thank you, AB. All this stuff comes right out of my kitchen for free. I buy the food. I, I get it. Oh, what am I doing? Well, I'm kind of just talking and showing off some of my toys. But actually, I'm making an A-10 Warthog. No, not paper mache. You build it just like a model or a house. You got a superstructure that is in here. Then you put your, um, um, you know, your uprights, which would be a two by fours or two by sixes. Well, this is paper. Same thing. And then you cover it with cardstock that you get out of your kitchen. So, and you can make stuff work. This burp gun works. Hi, Delmo. Nice to see you. Yes, Vactore. And uh, you can come into my show anytime you'd like, and I will help as much as I can. Thank you, David. Hi, Thuggy. You're late. <laughs> Show's over. Guess what, nobody? I don't know. What? Guess what? Well, there's too many things. Give me a clue. And, and, and the thing is, once you learn how to make paper toys, you can make any toy you want. Yeah, I get it, Thuggy. <laughs> Thank you, Voctori. God bless you as well.
No, Adelmo, I will not. There's not really enough money to go through the headache to build another one of those. But I'm sure if somebody threw a big enough pile of it, I would consider it. Hi, J-Dub. You missed the show. It's over. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I posted a video of it. Okay, what, what time? Let's see, Indiana. Indiana, that makes uh, five. It's what, seven o'clock your time? Uh, Vactori? Yeah, Michigan, yep. Seven, it's, so it's almost eight. Yeah, two hour difference. Okay, so one hour ahead of your time right now is when I do my next live show in the evening. Uh, if you want to catch both shows, my morning show is uh, noon Pacific Standard Time. Yes, Vaktori. Um, with my techniques, I, I know he could build one. Start making a micro machine. I would suggest four inches. That's probably the smallest he, he should make and try to get right. And I can teach you how to make the wheels and, uh, you know, uh, the, the parts of the boiler if you want to make a steam engine. So, Atlanta? Welcome, Atlanta. You caught the end of my show. There's only two minutes left. I'll be on Atlanta. I'll be on one hour earlier tomorrow than what you are right now. <clears throat> and so, that is a little paper building uh, challenges. That's how you make a ball. It takes lots and lots of little strips of paper. Thank you, Brandon. Take care. Have a good evening. Okay, you guys. It's the end of the show. Bye, Susan. Take care. And so, with it being the end of the show, we have a motto. We don't care what you are, who you are, where you are. We don't care what color you are. It doesn't matter. You're human beings. We need to start pulling together as a human race. It's important. Especially come 2024. Because if rumor holds true... We're going to be visited by alien intelligence. Going to come live with us. And so I hope it happens. It might straighten this planet out a little bit. You bet, Vaktori. Take care. You bet, Apocrypha. Absolutely. Not a problem. Thank you very much. Uh, what's that, Freddy? That is Freddy, Ro Freddy Rodriguez. Thank you, Freddie, very much. Yep, I'll be back live tomorrow. Same gnome time, same gnome channel. Take care, YouTube. I gotta go.